most control objectives in switch mode power converters involve controlling the average values of different voltages or currents or power. In this video, we will formally define this uh, periodic average, which we call as the cycle by cycle averaging. Uh, we'll go through some examples and also study some of the properties of this cycle by cycle averaging. Here is the uh, basic step down converter example that we have seen in some of the previous videos. And this bipositional switch has the electronic implementation as shown here. Um, now, what we can directly control is the on and off durations of these two switches to produce a switching voltage waveform VA at the output of the bipositional switch. But we do this uh, switching control in such a way to control the average value of VA to be some desired value shown by this uh, dotted line. And this in turn controls the average values of several other quantities. Now, similar to this uh, VA switching waveform, the other waveforms like the output voltage or the inductor current or the input current, they can be switching waveforms or at least they will have, they can have a significant high frequency content. Still, what, from a controls point of view, what we are really interested in is the average values of each of these quantities. And when I say average, I specifically mean the periodic average or the average over one switching period. And we call this as the cycle by cycle averaging or CCA for short. Now, the reason why the uh, CCA is important is is that all the control objectives, whether it is controlling the output voltage or the power or maximum power, power tracking at the input, whatever it is, it is done using the control of different CCA values. And all the average models uh, that we develop in future videos and much of the steady state analysis and most importantly the controller design, they are all done using the CCA quantities. So we have come to the uh, formal definition of cycle by cycle averaging. First of all, our convention is to denote the CCA values by a bar on top of the variable. So for example, the pole output voltage VA, its average, its CCA value would be denoted by VA with a bar on top. Similarly, the average value of the input DC current ID would be denoted by ID with a bar on top. So x bar of t, which is the CCA value of uh, time domain quantity x of t at time t um, is given by this expression. So which actually requires us to take the integral from the instant t minus ts, where ts is the switching period from that instant to the current time t. Okay, so if you want x bar at time t, then do this um, uh, integration and do it by Ts to get the average value. Okay. So that's the definition. In essence, what it means is we are taking the average of the waveform over one complete period just prior to the point at which we want the CCA value. So that's a fairly straightforward definition. And uh, this picture helps to further illustrate this concept. So X of T is this blue waveform. Uh, this is uh, not an arbitrary waveform, this is actually the the waveform of the input DC current for the step down converter that we just saw in the previous uh, slide. Okay. So that has a waveform like this. And if you're interested in finding the X bar of T, uh, which is the cycle by cycle average of this blue waveform, uh, let's say we want to do that at this instant, uh, um, at this instant here. Okay. Then we have to consider the window of, uh, of length Ts, the switching period. Uh, just prior to this point. So that will be um, this point up to this point. Okay. So during that window of um, uh, length Ts, calculate the average value of this blue waveform and that would be the x bar of T at this instant. Okay. And similarly, if you want the uh, CCA value at a slightly different time, let's say uh, at this instant, then this entire window would be moved by this same length. So we'll be starting from this point, take the integration, uh, take the integral of this blue waveform from this instant up to this instant. That will give us the x bar of t at this new time. 
Okay, and also note that the CCA values, even though it is um, uh, an average value, it's given by this integral. Um, CCA quantities can be time varying, and in fact, they are time varying all the time in um, DC AC converters or AC DC converters, and even in DC DC converters, they can be time varying during transient conditions. Now, the reason why in this example, the X bar of T, this red waveform, is the constant DC is because these waveforms, they repeat exactly from cycle to cycle. So whether you take the um, uh, CC at this instant or this instant or at any other instant, the average of this blue waveform over one complete period is always this constant value. Now, if the value of the inductor current magnitude changes or this duration changes, uh, then the um, CCA value will no longer be a constant, but it will be either a rising or a falling waveform. Uh, following the average of the blue waveform. Next, uh, let's go ahead and derive the uh, CCA values of um, two switching quantities that we have seen before. Okay. Um, so, for example, this is the PWM implementation slide from the, uh, uh, I think, the video on PWM and duty ratio. So, this describes the process of pulse width modulation. So, a control voltage VCA is compared with a ramp signal to produce this switching gate signal called Q sub A for poly. Okay, this is the, so when VCA is instantaneously higher than the V ramp, this Q switching signal, which can be either zero or one. Um, so when VCA is higher than the V ramp, it is one, otherwise it is zero. Okay. And uh, given this switching waveform, um, the pole output voltage would be a scaled version of Q sub A. Uh, so when Q A is one, the output is V sub D. When Q A is zero, the output is zero. Okay. So QA equals 1 for the duration of T on, and we also define the duty ratio DA to be the ratio of T on to the complete switching period TS. Okay. So what we are going to do in the next slide is to calculate the cycle by cycle average of Q sub A as well as the cycle by cycle average of this V sub A waveforms. Okay. So that is done here. So let's do the QA first. So we just apply the definition that we just learned to get the cycle by cycle average of uh, this Q signal and that is given here. So first we need to take the take this integral over one complete switching period. Now whether we do the integration from here till here or let's say from the middle of the on period to the next middle of the uh, to the middle of the next on period. So wherever it is as long as it is one complete switching period we see that Q is one exactly for a duration of t on therefore the integral would be 1 times t on and we need to divide that by ts so the so this entire quantity for q sub a uh, comes out to be t on over ts okay and that is nothing but the definition of duty ratio so what we have just now established is that the cycle by cycle average value of q a uh, indicated by this dotted line there is nothing but the duty ratio da for poly now i say that it is time varying because in general the duty ratio can be time varying uh, or this t on uh, can be time varying from one cycle to the next cycle similarly if you want the cycle by cycle average of the pole output voltage va or van with respect to the dc negative then it's the same procedure. Apply the basic definition of cycle by cycle averaging. So we need to do the integration of VAN over one searching period and divide by TS. Now we also note that VAN is uh, just a scaled version of QA. It is scaled by the quantity VD, which is the voltage across the two portions of the switch, the DC voltage. Okay, so we substitute that in this expression. And uh, since VD can be assumed constant, we can take that outside the integral and what is left so this will this will be bd and this is taken out and uh, what is uh, uh, left here this divided by ts is nothing but the qa average which was d therefore van average the pole output voltage cca value is nothing but this dc voltage vd times the duty ratio d of t Some example waveforms of um, instantaneous and CCA quantities. The first one is the um, pole output voltage VA. Uh, obviously, the green waveform is the instantaneous waveform, and the red is the cycle by cycle average denoted by this bar on top, VA bar. 
and similarly the blue waveform is the instantaneous inductor current again in the uh, the basic step down converter and the red waveform is its um, cycle by cycle average IL bar. Now here the two CC quantities are time invariant they are constant because the waveforms they are repeating exactly from one cycle to the next neither the duration nor the magnitudes are changing in uh, both of these waveforms whereas the uh, the plots to the right they correspond to uh, a transient condition and uh, you can see that in the V sub A waveform the magnitude remains constant at 100 volts but the on interval T on keeps increasing from one cycle to the next in response the uh, cycle by cycle average V A bar is also continuously increasing from one cycle to the next and similarly the instantaneous inductor current is also rising in magnitude and the um, CCA value IL bar also follows that increase so the one of the main points is that the CCA definition is valid whether it is in steady state or in transient. The uh, CCA definition is uh, not only valid for DC-DC converters, it's also valid for any other power converter type like the DC-AC or AC-DC converters as well. Now here's an example. Uh, so this is the switching waveform. So just by looking at the switching waveform, we cannot tell whether it corresponds to a DC-DC case or a DC-AC case. But if we take the uh, cycle by cycle average using the definition that we just introduced in the previous slides, that comes out to be this waveform. So this is this is instantaneous VAN and the second plot is the CCA or VAN bar. And here you see um, uh, a DC component, but more importantly, a large um, sinusoidal low frequency component as well. So the um, switching frequency here is 5 kilohertz and so the one period is shown in this um, uh, dotted box in the in this shaded box and um, that period corresponds to 1 over 5 uh, kilohertz whereas the frequency of this sine wave with the fundamental component is 50 hertz so the switching frequency is um, well above it's about it's, it's 100 times more than the fundamental frequency so the main point is uh, the CCA is applicable for other types of converters as well and um, the CCA can be time varying as clearly shown in this uh, in this example. We can also do the uh, frequency spectrum of both of these waveforms. The frequency spectrum of the instantaneous BAN has um, it has the um, uh, the DC component 100 volts. It also has the fundamental the 50 hertz component um, slightly less than 100 volts. Uh, but more importantly, it has um, um, the switching frequency and its harmonics. Uh, so this is um, this is a five kilohertz and side bands, it's ten kilohertz and so on. And uh, whereas if you do the uh, if you look at the frequency spectrum of this VAN bar, the CCA value, it only has the DC value and the fifty hertz value, but the switching frequency component and its multiples and its harmonics they are cancelled by this process of averaging. 